Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move uh, video clips forward or backwards. Or also, I'm going to show you how to sync two videos together. Basically, that's what I, I want to do on this video. So, I have two videos here. I got this video that was created uh, with my iPhone. And then this video was created with my drone. And there's a, so I'll try to record them both at the same time, but when you bring them in, they're a little bit off because I couldn't hit start button on both of them at the same time. Even if I did, one of them has a delay and the other one has a, like a countdown. So uh, it, there's no way to start them both at the same time, but I'm going to show you how to sync those two together. So first of all, I'm going to bring the first one and put it in my timeline here. Uh, then I'm going to grab the other one and put that on top of that one. Now, right now, if I went and played both of them, all you're going to see Hello everyone, hello everyone, here with another video. In this video, and there's two sounds, because when I was recording both of them, both of them were recording sound. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to remove one of the sounds. And uh, and the one I'm going to remove the sound is on the top one, because that's the one that I'm going to move backwards and forward, okay? So if I click on that uh, video track two, and I right click, I tell it to split, uh, excuse me, unlink, <clears throat> unlink from audio, then I can grab that audio at the bottom and delete it. Okay, there's first step. Second step, as I was trying to explain, if I um, hit play, this video, all, I'm, you I'm can, gonna show all you can see is the top one because they're both the same size. So what I'm gonna have to do on the top one, I'm going to reduce it and stick it up on the left-hand corner. Now, I'm not going to explain too much about this because that's a, a totally different video. Okay, so all I'm, let me show you what I would do. I would click here. I would uh, go scale it, and I would probably... Let's say, uh, about that big, and I'm, I'm going to turn it all the way to the left and up. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Uh, excuse me, give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay, now, uh, I'm still going to make it a little bit smaller. That's good enough. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, if I hit play, you, you, we can see both videos. Let me click up here where I can see both of them. And hit play. The card is in your uh, SD card slot. And if so I was recording both videos. But when you get to a certain section, you're going to see that they're not in sync. So let me find an area where that would be. So if you go right in here where I start talking, I'm, I'm watching both videos. Watch what happens. This is my drone video. This and this are really the same thing. And this, this, and back there in the back are all the same. But I have to sync this two together, okay? So when, when I hit play, watch what happens. You see, you see that little red, uh, excuse me, this blue uh, square, it should have showed up here at the same time. These two photos should look exactly the same. Now, so uh, at this point, what I have to do is move this top video to the right. That way it will delay itself until it comes down here. Now, Whenever you're editing, you see these timelines down here? 
if I move, if I click on this uh, track two, I can move it to the left uh, or, or move it to the right. So I'm actually going to move it to the right. Now, if you see now, it's more in sync, I bet. So let, let's hit play. You'll see this thing activate. You see? Now, you see this one turned gray, which is a different timeline than this one. So, and not just that, but you see that little blue light right there, a blue a square? Well, that one should be the same as this one. So, if I, now I want to move it to the left, okay? And I'm purposely going to make a mistake to show you something. In other words, if I click and just move it down just a little bit at a time, you see, now it's, the timeline is totally different. Because this one's more, you can barely see the, um, the blue here. As I move this top one back and forth, it moves it a lot because, watch this, with my mouse wheel, I'm going to make this smaller and bigger. And depends on where I put my mouse that this, where the recording will start when I hit play, will go, like if I put my mouse to the left of it, it's going to go to the right. Now, if I put my mouse to the right of it, everything's going to move to the left. So you want to make sure that you know how, because it look, if I go down here and start enlarging, look, I lost that red line, right? My timeline. So when you're enlarging and reducing this, then you want to make sure you're close to that line. That way, when you move up and down, it it's easy for you to track. Now, now that I move this, I can left click and move it a little bit at a time. You see, look. Before, if I would have moved it this much, it, it would have been way off. Now look at this. You see? Now I can move it along with you have more control versus if I did it like this. Because if I move it like I did earlier, look, I'm going to click and drag, and look. It's still, here, give me a second. It still enlarges a lot, so here, let me. So watch this. I'm gonna make it small, and I'm gonna move the same same direction and smaller. Here, let's move. Okay, you see, I moved it a lot, even though I moved it to the left and to the right a little bit because I reduced the screen view of it. Okay, so watch. I'm gonna move like from this area to right here. Or let's, let's start from this area to right here and watch how much this timeline is gonna change. Okay, look, I'm gonna move from this timeline to here. And you see it's blue. Now, so if I move half that distance, so let's say, see? So here, let's move it over right there. Now, all I got to do is move it just a little bit because right here is where it actually starts turning blue. So I need to move this to the right a little bit. Okay, that's too far, so look, I move to the left. That's too far to the left. I move to the right. It's too far because this is, see, I can't control it that much. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to, with my uh, mouth wheel, I'm going to enlarge this so I can move this with increments, large, uh, smaller increments. So 
I'm going to move this to the left. Look, it's still not right. You look how much I can move it. There we go. Those two are almost synced to each other. So I'm going to move this over to the left. And uh, here, let's kind of make it smaller. And let, let's hit play. It starts the program. All you have to do is go on. So let's make it smaller. Okay, and I'm going to hit play. Activate. You see, it's, you it see starts it. the program. All you have to do is. See, you see how it. Look. Okay. You see, that's still blue. Okay, so we'll go with turning this gray. Okay, so same thing. So this is this is turning gray. So that means this timeline has to, I have to move this over to the right a little bit. So let's start from here. And just move it, inch it up a little bit. There we go. And let me see, let's move it just a hair. Nope. Okay, now, so let's move this over. And it should be pretty synced up now. Wait. Look, you see, see both of them? It starts the program. All you have to do is it turns blue go and on. blue here. I will time. fly. Now we have it Now what up. I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and cover up. So that's all I wanted to show you. And remember, you can move your mouse to this, where it, where, it, where this is where you play. This it shows you where it's playing, right? If I want to move this, all the sigmas to the left, I put my mouse to the right of it and use my uh, wheel, and it moves to the left. Let's say I want to go to the right, I put my um, mouse to the left of it and I use my wheel mouse push up and it goes down now let's say that I want to reduce this I'm gonna stick it right here in the middle and I just I'm just gonna um, use my wheel and now because if you go this small right here any little move you go back and forth is gonna be hard to control I hope this makes sense, uh, but that's how you can manage this two uh, sequence, or you could even have three or four of them. That's how you would match each one of them. I know this is a small video, short video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that helps you out a little bit. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next video.